Hey what's up guys, it's Banu here from RenderRaw.com This is the Huawei P40 Pro and one of the main weak points about this phone is that it doesn't come with the Google Play Store So because it doesn't have the Google Play Store that means you have to install your apps manually or you can get the apps from the App Gallery but the App Gallery doesn't have all your favorite applications you want at the moment this also means you don't have access to YouTube, Google Maps and other awesome services that you might be already using. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can install the Google Play Store onto your Huawei P40 Pro and complete that experience. If you guys are new to my channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button right now. Let me go ahead and show you guys how you can install the Google Play Store onto your Huawei P40 device. The first thing you need to do is go ahead and download the file that is given down below in the description and then follow on with the tutorial. And now let's complete your experience with the Huawei P40 Pro. The first thing you need to do to make sure that your device is ready to install the Google Play Store is make sure that you have done a complete factory reset or if you have just taken it out of the box then it should be fine. So here I have performed a factory reset and make sure you download the file that is given down below in the description and copy it over to your pen drive and you also need a USB OTG adapter like this. So here I have a USB type C OTG adapter along with the pen drive. So you can copy all the files that are linked down below in the description to it and then let me show you what you need to do to proceed. So after that you need to just go ahead and plug in uh, your pen drive uh, onto your device. The first thing you need to do is you need to go ahead and open up files on your phone and then you should see the USB drive that you have connected via a USB Type-C adapter. So now after you open up the pen drive, you should have the zip file that you copied onto the device. So here you have the Android Pro.zip. So you just have to press and hold on it a bit, then go ahead and hit on more and then go to extract to and then you can go ahead and hit on current directory and press on OK. Now you just need to give it a bit to extract and once the extraction has been completed you can go ahead and go into this folder and here you will find two folders one called apk and the other one called backup. So the first thing you need to do is now exit out of this go into settings you need to scroll down a bit until you find apps then go into apps Hit on the three dot menu right over here at the top and select show system processors and now here you have to just go ahead and search for backup. Now you need to go ahead and hit on force stop and hit on uninstall. So once the backup app has been uninstalled on your device, now you need to go back into the pen drive and uh, in the second folder, the backup folder, you will find two APKs. So just go ahead and install here you need to select don't ask me again and hit on allow and install the first backup file then you need to install the second backup file the next thing you need to do is go ahead and press and hold on the huawei.zip and go to extract to select current directory and press ok so here you have a folder called huawei with the backup folder just press and hold on the huawei one then you go to move and now you just need to go back to the root of your pen drive like this and just click on so right now the backup folder has been moved so now you need to go back into settings go to system and updates go into backup and restore go to data backup and right here press next free external storage usb storage and here you should see something called the huawei p40 Pro plus manual backup just go ahead and select this and hit on restore here it will ask for a password so you just have to enter the password that is given down below here so let me quickly enter that password so once I enter the password it will go ahead and restore this and I can go ahead and done so now when you come back into the home screen you should see 
a new uh, Chinese Google icon like this so now what you need to do is go ahead and hit on this to open it up and uh, you just need to wait a sec hit on activate and hit on allow so now you should see this screen with Chinese letters just go ahead and hit on this button over here and now you need to go back into your pen drive actually so you just go back into the files application and now you need to go back into the pen drive and this time so let me quickly go back into that folder and now you need to go into the folder called APK so here there are four folders that you need to install files so you just need to go into step one first and make sure that you install all of these APKs on your device first so first thing is quick shot maker go ahead and install it then we have the google play services so make sure that it is that it gets installed on your device and make sure that you are connected to a wi-fi network because that is very important uh, for the for this application to install the google packages uh, from the internet so just uh, make sure that uh, you are connected to the internet uh, while you are doing this process, so let me quickly go ahead and install all of these uh, APKs onto my device. So, here I'm installing the Google Play Store APK as well, and uh, then the shared library, and finally we have the Google Contact Sync. So, I have installed all of that. After you are done installing all these APKs, now what you need to do is go back into the home screen. Come to your home, open up this quick shot maker application and here you need to scroll down a little bit until you find Google Account Manager. Just go ahead and hit on this arrow to expand it and here you need to go ahead and find this place where it says type email and password. It will be there in two places but make sure to hit on the first one that you see over here. Now go ahead and hit on try. So here you should see this type of screen. Here what you need to do is hit on the three dot menu and hit on browser sign in. So now here is the place that you need to sign into your Google account. So let me quickly do that and show you guys. Just log into your account and sometimes it might not show any error and just log in. But you should actually see the error at this step. If you don't see error, go ahead and hit on try once again. Hit on the three dots and uh, go back again and type your details once again. Just hold on a bit and here you should see the error that I was talking about. So once you see this error, that's good. So you need to go back into that folder and now you need to go into step 2 and install this Google services framework that you can find over here. Once this has been completed, what you need to do is go back into settings like this and here you should see a section called Google. So here you can make sure that your Google account is live. So double check that your Google account is there. Go back into the home screen and now you can open up the Google Play Store like this and the Play Store should load up just fine right now. But we are not done with this, so we are gonna actually go ahead and uh, disable the notifications that keep popping up from the Play Store uh, with certain warnings. So now let me show you how to get rid of that. In order to get rid of all the notifications, what you need to do is go back into settings and go to apps, go back into apps and here you need to search for Google and here you will see Google Play services. So here what you're gonna do is go ahead and hit on four stop and hit on uninstall just like that and once that's done you need to go back into the folder with all the files that you downloaded and now you need to go into step 3 and install this modified version of google play services go ahead and hit on install and just wait a bit until this is completed once it's completed hit on done once that's done the next thing you need to do is go back home go into settings go into apps again into apps and search for google and make sure that the system processes are shown and go into google services framework so here you need to go ahead and hit on four stop go to storage and hit on clear data go back hit on four stop a few times until it actually becomes gray like that and now you can go ahead and hit on uninstall
now you need to go back once again to the folder that I uh, shared with you guys go into step 2 and install the Google Services Framework APK and click on done. So at this point the Google Play Store should work you just open it up and see if it works for you. Once you verify that the Play Store is working, we are not done just yet. We have one last step to go. Open setting once again, go into apps, go into apps once again and go into this screen where you have Google Play services. Go ahead and hit on it and then you need to go into storage and clear the cache. Go back and make sure that uh, the full stop button is in grey color. Hit on uninstall and hit on deactivate and uninstall and uh, just wait a bit for it to get completed and here it will ask you whether you really want to uninstall hit on ok and now google play services have been uninstalled go back into the folder and now go into step 4 and install this version of the modified google play services framework onto your device just like this and once we are done with this the setup process is completed for the Google Play Store on your Huawei P40 Pro without any type of warning. So let me go ahead and open it up and show you guys. So here we have the Google Play Store working. So let me go ahead and search for WhatsApp real fast. So here we have WhatsApp. Let me go ahead and install it onto my device and show you guys that it indeed is working here on the Huawei P40 so uh, the installation process has begun and as you guys can see it is now working so that's some awesome news that we have the Google Play Store up and running on our devices so uh, here we have WhatsApp installed directly from the Play Store so pretty awesome news I hope you guys uh, found this tutorial helpful. If you did, definitely go ahead and share this video with your friends. I just wanted to bring you guys uh, this uh, tutorial in a way that you guys will easily be able to understand everything and also keep track of all the steps to make sure that you have Google services up and running on your device. Once you're done with everything, just go ahead and add the Google account manager as well as this purple color icon onto a separate folder. You can uh, put the quick shortcut maker also into that folder and just store it somewhere safely. The most important thing here is that the Google Play Store is now working so you can go ahead and utilize the full power of the Google Play Store to install any application on your device so give, go ahead and give it a try and let me know how it goes but guys that's how you install the google play store on your huawei device i hope you guys found this video useful if you did definitely go ahead and share it with all of your friends all over social media and you can follow me on social media as well i'm at android dollar all the links are given down below in the description and stay tuned to android.com for the latest from the tech world I made a bunch of videos on the Huawei P40 Pro. Definitely go ahead and check them out. I'll have links for some of them down below in the description as well. And stay tuned for my full review of the Huawei P40 Pro coming very, very soon. I've been testing this phone so much and uh, I have so many opinions to share with you guys. That will be coming very soon. Subscribe if you guys want to see that and uh, stay tuned to underdog.com for the latest from the tech world And if you have any comments about this go ahead and drop a comment if you need any extra help You can drop a comment or you can find me on social media. I will be happy to help you guys So without that being said until I see you guys in my next video. This is Banu signing off